everyone. This is Cheryl from GMI Hub Online. Normally we'd be going live tonight, but we're taking the night off because it's a holiday weekend. But you know what? We're going to share something with you tonight that we normally would not do. And that is this. Last week, we had a great conversation with Fresh IE and 1AT. And even when we went off the air, we still continued the conversation and had a great time connecting and talking and sharing. And so we're going to share what we had, that, that conversation we had last night. So, or that last week. So here it is. Whole... We're clear. We're clear. <laughs> guys, this was awesome. Oh, man, we really enjoyed uh, <laughs> spending time with you guys, getting to know you a little bit more. Uh, 180, yeah. real pleasure, man. I, I love your heart. And uh, yeah, fresh I man, I love you, bro. You always thought you were yeah. the best things. Nice bread, man. <laughs> Ever since I was. Oh, man. <laughs> no, no, seriously. I appreciate I got that, man. Gig. I was like, uh, 18 17 and so just love it wow, uh, yeah yeah you're old what can i say <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know you know what i'm appreciating actually though and and i thank you for doing this fresh particularly it really warms my heart is that no matter how many times people say and he won a grammy and he's won this you do not allow that to go to head. As a matter of fact it seems like every time that is mentioned it's almost like you spiritually go down to your knees and I love that. Yeah, I, mean, I love that about you, man. Because it looks annoying. I, I see him, what's that? <laughs> like it looks it looks annoying. It looks like it annoys him when you mention it, right? Like when you hear it, it when he hears it, yeah, it looks like he's annoyed. Yeah, I, I see it too. Yeah, and when he's yeah, giving me a hard time, sometimes I'll say, Hey man, what about that Grammy, bro? And then I'll hang up so then you gotta sit with it for an hour. Yeah. And and I, I hear you because you don't want to be labeled by that. You know, one of the one of the things, and, and I know you don't want to talk about it, but I almost at one time wanted to do a conversation on what's with the awards. What does it mean to get an yeah. award? Mm -hmm. And this is before I even knew you existed, okay? And because because I wanted to know, actually, I didn't want to know. Some Another artist actually said that. Like, what, how do you get an award? And what does it take to get an award? And, it was, and I actually mentioned it to another artist who came from BC into Ontario. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I said it, the person was like, yeah, you mean that's all they want is the award? That's all they wanted to do it for? That's and, yeah. and it's almost like, it was yeah. almost like you've got to be kidding yeah. me. Yeah. No, yeah. like once you get the award, that's it, it's done. And then, <laughs> and then, and, and I'm sitting there going, oh my gosh. Like, I, and that, this was all new for me. Like I've heard all about awards yeah. and all that other stuff, but it's what mm -hmm. do people do with, what does it all mean? I just tell everybody I got yeah. two Grammys and two grandpas. I'm good. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, some yeah. people, and I know that some, some people see I, accomplishment. I yeah, Sorry, I know, so I know, but I understand some that. Some people see accomplishment when level. it should be. Yeah. The way I view it every time well, I think, is that, like, you know, it's not accomplishment, it's, it's opportunity, right? And and that's what it is. Like, the fact think, that yeah. if I get on that stage and, and win that, so, like, the ECMA I just won, um, like, that's a, that, that was, I, like, we won the actual overall hip-hop category uh, for right. album of the year uh, with a Christian you album, right? You look at it as a platform. Yeah, that, that said to me exactly. immediately, okay, well, now I have the secular right. world listening to my music. I right. need to make sure that Jesus gets said yeah. three more times per song at least. Yeah. Right, you know, or, or <laughs> talk, right? It was it was kind of kind of re reshape. You know, what are we going to actually run at this? We're going to capitalize on it. The doors open. Let's actually go. Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah. and you know, we've got like right now. One of the things, one of the reasons I wanted to do this tour is I spent the past three weeks at least having people tell me, you know, hey man, like loved your set at the club you did the other night, whatever, whatever, you know, wasn't really there for what you said, but it worked out and so on and so on. And will you let me know where you're performing next and I'll be there. And I was just like, well, what if I'm performing in a church? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see if you're yeah. gonna buy those tickets then. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, but that's, exactly that's right. where I'm going. If you really did enjoy yeah. it and, God, and again, I don't believe God's word returns void. So. If yeah, that's the case, that. if I said had that conversation with ten people and two of them show up, hey man, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll take it. That's for the two, right? If you if I could yeah. liken to you to Bible characters, I'd say you're <laughs> like 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 here we go. Fred, no, Fresh Fresh is a modern day David. He's a modern David? day psalmist. Okay. Right? All right. 
right. a worshiper his heart's after God. Okay. Yeah, no, okay. You know, I like that. I'm about to be the wild yeah, troublemaker. Yeah. I see it coming. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't hear that. He's kind of low. What did he say? What did he say? I said, I'm about to be, Kia, I'm about Kia, to be the bad troublemaker. Kia, I see it coming. Kia, I see you, it coming. Kia, no, you, you no, the modern day no, Joseph no, get no, thrown no, in the, no. get thrown in the, in the, in the pit when his brother's. <laughs> there's a whole analogy there man i can get into as well but that's anyways go ahead but t no, you know who i see you as? I see, I see you as a modern day apostle paul and yeah. here's the reason why Here, here's the reason why first of all saul to paul right you had you had your mm. your your bad days you did a u-turn yep. 180 right god, god called you out of that. god called you out rename well actually you both had this renaming thing going on yeah, yeah. right <laughs> right but the other thing is what you just what you said earlier is like hey if that's the ticket if that's the ticket to uh, fine i'll use that ticket to go and, and minister yeah. to you no problem paul was the exact same way the apostle paul was the exact same way he he knew i'm roman mm -hmm. okay so i'm roman fine i'll go talk to the romans I'll, i have a right i have a right to have time with caesar this i have a right yeah and when he was in yeah. and when he was in prison and god broke him out when I, I mean sorry when he was paul and silas yes when they were in the prison yeah. and they were singing and, and god broke them out and yeah, the minute hour. i think that was the, and i think that was the time when the jail when um um they were singing and worshiping and then the jailer said yeah, yeah. kill myself because you guys are all taken off no we're still here dude yeah, yeah. Here. so there was that <laughs> but also there was a time when they were being released and it's like we're just releasing you because we want to let you go and paul's like no i have i have my rights yeah. you violated me yeah. you violated my right so i'm gonna go right back into prison and you make sure your head your, you know the head of the roman guard whoever Stealing has it. to come yes. and come apologize me like he and i want yeah. to i totally see you like that i totally see you <laughs> hey, like, like the apostle Paul. i got a point to make and i can't make it That's the worst true. part of all of that the whole the worst part of all of that is that I, that was a ridiculous amount of pressure. I started sweating and everything, but I can't argue with you on your description and, and how you explained it. So I'm going to receive it. I'm going to hope that I was dreaming <laughs> and, and, and not what actually was meant. And then, yeah, yeah, I heard it wrong because, man, Paul, that's, ooh, like that's, that's a busy hey, brother. I'm trying, I'm on the end of this. <laughs> no, no, I'm, down, I'm on the back end. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> It's the heart behind yeah, it. The character, the, the personality. Because Paul, Paul's character, yeah, Paul's character as well was, um, he, you know, if someone was talking about Jesus in a positive sense, or whether he's talking, whether someone was talking about Jesus in a ne negative sense, his attitude was, they're talking about Jesus. Yep. <laughs> it's yep. a win, you know. Yep. It was just that. It was. It was just that kind. And and it, when I hear you speak, I I hear that kind of a character and in, in you. And that's all. That's all I'm. That's why I said if I can liken I, I, you I to know, a modern day. Yeah, I think Bible it's just. That I know who I'm talking to. I know who I'm talking to, and I don't want to make it difficult for them to come to Christ. That's all. I just want to be right. fun and, and, and help them get there. I don't want to, I don't want it to be uh, 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 an obstacle course. I, I do. I, I feel strongly that they're going to run into that once they get here, <laughs> whether we mean to put it on them or not. Sometimes they're going to run into that already. So I, I just want to get them here again, press play and get out the way. That's Tell it. us a bit about this thing, this tour you're doing now. What, what is this like working together? Actually, what brought the tour? Yeah, what brought that about? Yeah. Uh, three years ago, well, I mean, we, an album that we never did. <laughs> yeah, we we're, were supposed to do an album a long time ago. We toured, we toured a lot already. So this has been like, this has been probably like six, seven years since we've actually toured, and uh, so it's just automatic. It's just like it just makes sense. It's like, okay, look, let's just do it. Let's do it. You know what I mean? Like we both, like on stage, we're we're great together on stage. We know each other well, so you know what I mean? Like. We have some funny stories, actually, in our last little... Like, tell them a story about the bear, bro. I mean, okay, yeah. Because, because you, no, you, no, I'll tell that story because you look just as bad as me in it, so I'm cool with that one. I'll, I'll share that one. Yeah, so, you tell a story. We, yeah, we, went, we went and did this <laughs> event, right? Oh, and, like, and, and, and we're we're here, like, and we're, you know, big old tough guys, right? Like, we're, we're, we're out the hood, and we tell people that, hey, man, I'm out the hood. You know, I 
get it. So anyway, yeah, we're uh, we're, go, we're trying to go back to our to our to where we're staying. We had left this ca- canteen cafeteria thing that we were at, and uh, we tra- we're heading back. But it's dark and it's all woods, right? Like all woods. And I don't know what it was. It might have just been the wind blowing or something. But something moved. No, man. Some, some they see, announced. They are, they already announced. Yeah. Be careful going back because there's a bear in the area. There's bears. And we're the only we're so, the only three black people in the thing. Three of us. So <laughs> we lock. We're basically locked arms. No words. We're tippy toeing together like yo, don't <laughs> run on me, man. Because like we gotta like we, we gotta at lit- least have two chances to get out of here, right? Like you can't learn. you can't leave. We gotta be together, right? You can only eat one of us at one time. So. <laughs> Hope it's not you, but you got to do that. You got to take that for the other. Okay, here, here's the bad part about <laughs> it. Half, oh. Halfway through the halfway through the woods, these guys said, "Well, fresh. If anyone gets eat, you're the first one going, bro." <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, it wasn't selfish. It wasn't you're selfish. Slow- it wasn't selfish. He's had his years. We were just starting. You're the slowest right? one, so we were just starting. That's yeah, all. that was a funny. Oh, that was he, had funny. His, he had his years. That's all. We were trying to think that maybe I couldn't know, believe how we were so close. Went. Like we were all holding arms together, and, and like like we was <laughs> didn't know me. Like we were scared. Yeah, it was so bad. We got back to the hotel and couldn't talk to each other for a half hour just because it was like nah, that was, that was, I, I lost, I lost two points of respect close. for all three of us that night, right? Because we weren't so tough anymore. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's hilarious. Very cool. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah, it was funny. If you're a singer-songwriter, we have great news for you. Family Christmas Volume 3 is coming. (laughs) The GMI Hub is accepting new songs for their Christmas compilation 2022. Your song's running time should be four minutes or less. Submission should be an original, unpublished Christmas song or an unreleased public domain Christmas song. Accepted songs may be considered for submission to radio. (laughs) To find out how to submit your song, please go to (laughs) gmihub.ca. Did you want to say hi? Okay. We had someone here in our studio audience who's been sitting quietly. You know, because he made the trek, I thought it would be nice if he could say hi to you. This hey. is Al. Hi, guys. I yeah. think you hey, how you doing, Al? Yeah, you know, actually, I want to say something to Fresh. So if it's okay, I... Um, here, have a seat. Four, four years ago, my church in uh, suburban Toronto celebrated our bicentenary. And one of our uh, projects was uh, to uh, get some water uh, project for Tangicum. So when you brought up the story, especially the uh, nine-year-old committing suicide, that kind of hit me a little hard earlier tonight. Thank you for that, Mm -hmm. sharing that. Yeah. And uh, we do continue to bring that community. And, and, you know, and I'm just thrilled that, well, proximity-wise, you're a heck heck of a lot closer than we are in Toronto. uh, and uh, you know you can have the opportunity to get there because we basically just looked at yeah. our maps and prayed as we were raising funds uh, at, at our congregation. So that is just great. And thank you guys both for your ministries over the years. The Ministry of Teen Challenge has also been something connected with over the years. And um, you know, and again, uh, as a basket, as another. Uh, basketball person here I'm always thrilled to hear just encouraging mentoring young guys and in, in all and uh, I guess I was really excited last week watching uh, the, the Warriors win with two Toronto guys <laughs> yeah. on there you know we're still claiming Curry <laughs> Toronto years oh yeah uh, yeah it's because his pop uh, showed everyone how to throw three pointers so. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways what's it <laughs> We really look forward to uh, late October, and uh, we'll, we'll do our best to be encouraging folks across the country to Sure. Awesome. Thanks, Al. I appreciate that. We look forward to seeing you. We look forward to meeting you. Yeah. You want to say hi? Sure. <laughs> this young guy sure. is also in the audience. <laughs> this is Tate. How's it going? 
What's happening, Tate? I'm fine. Actually, I just fell asleep in the hub. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Just, oh, are we that are we that I, bored, man? I, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Tate, if you give me another chance, I'll be better, man. I promise. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just not tonight, because it's past my bedtime for sure. I don't even know how you're doing this. I'm scared. Well, thanks for coming and hanging out with you. Props to you guys, too. Props to you guys, too, for what you're doing. Like, that's this, these kind of resources and stuff like that. Like, I mean, life didn't have to be so difficult for me if if stuff like this was around, man, and people were were pouring. There's so much more to music than just people who can sing and dance and and play instruments and that. Like, it's important to also be pouring into and teaching people the business side of it. Like, I'm looking at a lot of young people right now right now who I'm actually touching right now and seeing that, you know, that's the one thing that's lacking is their ability to have the information to kind of last a little bit doing this. And so I don't want to, I don't want to see Christian music or Christian hip hop die out. Right. Yeah. It's like, it's overwhelming. Thank you. You know what? And if there's anything like knowing that you guys, what you guys are doing, like you're, I see you as um, kind of out, like you're out in the field, like you're you're there, talking to the people right directly there. And if there's any way that, or anything that you're seeing or hearing out there that you think should be readily available that would help support what you're doing as well, we'd be happy to to call like, to collaborate and do yes, something. You absolutely. know, like if it's like you talked about the business side. And already there are some thoughts that we had about even with even with registering. We were just talking about this too. People like artists know to create, but as soon as you say, "Have you registered your song?" Um, what <laughs> you know, yeah, Q yeah. Cr- kind of yeah, yeah. right. And, it's, and so we're trying to think about ways, for example, <clears throat> to make that information easily available, kind of like the hand holding a little bit, mm-hmm. but maybe do it in a video form so that it supports what you're telling them kind of idea. Um, yeah. But you know, it, it's, it, it can be anything. Like if you want to be part of it, you can be a part of it. Yeah. You know, the point, the yeah. point being is, the point being is we're, we're using what God has given or allowing us to use as well to help educate the people and and we're not here to try and bull over anybody else if anything we're here to support you know yeah. so if there's a way that we can help support you guys and what you're doing mm-hmm. while you're at the because i see you guys i won't say you're in the fringes but you know you're you're out on the field yeah. like you're there exactly. right mm-hmm. and we are i feel like we are kind of in the back supporting all of you in the field right, right. And there's any right. way that you see that, that support might be utilized of what you're doing Please reach out. Yeah, we'd love we'd yeah. love to. Well, I think I think the I think the the great the the great start to that is us connecting in in October, and developing that that relationship and you know vice versa on our side too like to yeah. to be able to walk through different doors that we all have opportunity to open, you know like even uh-huh. with you guys you know wanting to do this thing across the country, we all have you know um, ideas and 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 actually visions to. To do the same so like i said to you guys you know the olive branch is extended now and, and now we can start yeah. building kingdom you know together you know yeah doing some kingdom yeah. work so same. Like, yeah same if you, my, my if you, if you yeah. come across a young artist you want to you want me to you want me to speak to or anything at any point like just say the word because i, I like i, I thrive yeah. on that right now it's fuel for me even yeah. you know to be able to pour into these these younger artists now so say the word on me Pour into lives like this. Pour into this one right here. Oh, 100%. That's why I apologize for making them go to sleep. That's why I apologize. I already felt bad. I feel bad. (laughs) (laughs) Should we get... We have another another little audience member here, but he's hiding. (laughs) And he's probably going, I'm embarrassed, so I'm not going to come out. Thanks, Mom. (laughs) At least least he's awake, Tate. At least he's awake, Tate. (laughs) <laughs> now he's rolling his eyes you're making friends i deserve that i deserve that <laughs> no 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 it's okay you're all dead Yo, Tia, you should uh 
You should email her uh, our the, the new single that we're putting out. Oh, you don't have it yet? It's on its way right now. Send it, send yeah, it for us so we can hear it. Yeah. I know. You I guys will love it, man. When so Wind and Waves? That's yeah. yours. That's when you uh, release in January, the Wind and Waves. Yeah. Wind and Waves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I think what I'll do is I'll just reply to the email you just sent me or the last email you sent me because that's easy. I already have it here. So I'm going to mm-hmm. reply to that and it's going to be in there here in two seconds. Give me one. No worries. Awesome. I also put out the full uh, I, album in in, uh, in in this past May. So before the wind and the waves. I'm sorry, Fesh. I missed what you said. Say it again. You say what about the main? Uh, I also put out the I, I also put out the full length album, just oh. just made this past May, uh, for for the wind and the waves. So, okay. 14, 14 oh. new tracks. Oh. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Okay. I'll look. For a lot that. of people get okay. a lot of people get get mixed up because uh, it's the same title. So people are like, "Well, I heard it in January, but it's actually a right. whole album." Right. So. Yeah. yeah. So the when, title track, yeah. Yeah, when Wind and Waves is the name of the full album, yes. Yeah, yeah. The Wind Wind and the Waves is the full album. City of Worship Three, Wind and the Waves. And uh yeah, check it out. And Jeff awesome. Rogers. Yeah, we've been we've been trying and to figure a way to encourage now. young artists to do performing because uh that's some of the, the things that the artists need to have spirit experience doing. And we're trying to think of ways to get um um, not necessarily young people, but young artists, so one who are not who mm. much able to do so much is to get get them on doing some live shows here, and uh, so yeah. that's that's part of our mindset uh, moving forward as well. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. yeah, I sent that email off, so you should have it now. Okay, I'll look and I sent that. you the actual. I sent you the actual. I sent you the actual album version too. So, uh, oh, because cool. the album track. version is my favorite. Did yeah, you that's get the track now? Uh, you can actually perform it? No, just kidding. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. no, I'm, I'm careful with what goes in those emails. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the phrase? Yeah, the, the video you were showing me. Uh, so, fresh. So fresh. I, I Now I got to remember the name of the song. Jesus uh, Jesus the Healer, I think yeah. it's called. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I was hearing that, like I was just playing that, and I and I love your rendition of it. I said, mm-hmm. I haven't heard that. That would be so cool. And it sounds simple enough that we can encourage young Some artists, people. young artists, to learn how to play it, and yeah, um, well, the other young invisible artists to speak it. <laughs> right, right, right. right. Be uh, back, yeah. yeah, he'd be happy to speak it from a microphone beside his father. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry. Right. But yeah, that hump, right? it'd be kind of cool to. Like, are Are you able to get the um, the track or stems or chords or anything like that? Oh, like, I have. We, is that? But I have all that. Have? Yeah. So yeah, I could definitely. Yeah, of course. Yeah, the the uh, the song that the the remix I did actually me and Aaron did it together, like from from Blue Tree. So like we mm-hmm. we toured together, and so when we started do because what happened was. We were in actually we were in um, in Happy Happy Valley Goose Bay, and mm-hmm. uh, we were actually doing we were we were doing ministry together out there, and uh, they would actually play that song live, Blue Tree would, and then they would call me up to do a verse on it, and they were like, "Fresh, you need to do we need to do a remix for this song," so yeah. that's where it came from. I was like, he was he, he was like Aaron Aaron was like, "Man, I'll send you all this all the stems and just make a remix for this. this is great, you know." And of course, in his in a Scottish accent, but. Yeah, uh, that's where the song no, started. That's where the song I, came alive. Was yeah. So I have all the stems and everything for the, all, the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, that'd be awesome! And one idea. Don't think I didn't watch for you too. I saw that live. I saw a live of you singing. You were actually it was like a live thing because you were. It was a church service, and yeah, it had oh, like, the, the, yeah. yeah, it was a church service. And the team started singing a song, and I said, "Why are they saying it's 118?" And I'm looking. I said, "I see the girl. I see, you know." And then, and then part way through, they pulled you out, and then you started. Ah, I was like, yes. oh, that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> oh, a whole yeah, new level. Yeah. 
That, yeah, that was, that yeah. was at our church. I, I, there's a, they got a couple of songs every once in a while that uh, actually they actually stopped. There's one of them they actually stopped playing it on Sundays if I'm not going to perform. Because, like, I get people get people started getting frustrated. Like, all right, well, hold on, hold on. That's not the bridge. There's, there's a verse there. I know that there's a rap there. <laughs> like, that ain't no bridge. Like, you were singing right good, and now all of a sudden, you messed the song up. They don't listen to it no more. It's over. So, we had to retire that one from the worship <laughs> setting. Can't hey, hey, do it no more. Yeah. That's good. Yep, can't no, I hear you. I hear you. Oh, no. I, you know, one thing I'm looking forward to, because as, as I was listening to the music, I was going, um, and I was talking to a pastor earlier today, and I said, you know what, it's really interesting. I said, we we're talking to a couple of rap artists, but you know what? They're worshipers. Yeah. yeah. They're worshipers. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I said, when they come in October, they're coming on a day that's typically known for the kingdom of darkness, but we're going to turn it into Amen. a kingdom of light. Yeah. And I said, Amen. these guys are coming. You know, these guys, come, I don't even know your repertoire, like what, what you're planning to, to do. But I look at that and go, you guys have a heart of worship in the midst of you use your gifting and talent. But the end result is by the time it's done, there are people here that are going to be either weeping or crying or raising Do their hands. Kind of, or, or You're absolutely right. You know, can I, can I, can I share something be, with you really quick? Certainly. Sorry, 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 sorry. I, mean, I just want to share this because uh, just about that date. Um, so I don't, I don't mess with Halloween. I don't mess with October 31st. So when I was seven years old, my godfather was actually murdered in front of me in Halifax <coughs> on Halloween by a guy in a mask. So I just don't like the idea of people being able to wear masks and go wherever they want to. Mm. Not the, anyway, it's a, it's a weirder yeah. statement since the past two years than it was a little while ago, but still, <laughs> still you know, uh, the, uh, the October 31st thing was always hard for me. And even up until even now, and then, it was funny because I don't book things that day. I don't do things that day. I stay home. The lights are off. I don't want kids knocking at the door. Nothing, right? Like, I just don't fool with that day at all. And I haven't. Now, I'm 42 years old, so I was seven when that happened. And Fresh messaged me and said, yeah, we got the 31st book of October. And I didn't bat an eye. I just felt peace. And that was the first time. And I don't. I'm, I suck at math, but I was seven when he died, 42 now, um, in that span, <laughs> that, in that huge that. span. Right. Well, I mean, that's why I appreciate you. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, it was, it was, uh, it was really, um, really, really, I, I, it was really cool. Like, cause even that, like the next morning I woke up and I was just like, you know what? Thanks God. Like not a big deal for a lot of people, maybe not even a big deal for me personally, but it was one of the, every once in a while, God does little things that I know was just him, you know? And I've been struggling with that date for a lot of years, you know, and so mm -hmm. only that's the only God can break me of it because everybody has the advice of how to do it. So I've heard every year about how it shouldn't matter to me or whatever, whatever, or how I, so, and that's never helped until this one time I get this text from Fresh, we got October 31st booked and I was like, cool, we got October 31st booked. And I didn't realize at the time until I woke up the next morning, whoa, he said October 31st and you just said, okay, right. with peace, no questions. I didn't even ask him where. I was just like, cool, we got October 31st book. Right. So yeah. um, I just want I just wanted to share that with you that, that God that God that God used you without you even knowing that um you were you were involved in that because I have a piece about that date right now and I never did before. So that's 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 you think, like, not only leave yeah. my house, but I'm about to go to Ontario. <laughs> like I'm not even yeah. just leaving my house. Maybe I'm leaving my whole province. Maybe you think of that old hymn that said when peace like a river attendeth my ways sorrow mm -hmm. like sea billows roll you, you've got you had the peace that passes understanding and it didn't you didn't realize till after that. i think that's just profound so cool yeah you're gonna it was, be turning that's amazing. That. when i i never had to use it before i didn't have to know that i had that peace right until this 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 time right yeah no i feel you there and you're I feel you there you're absolutely right though it's gonna it's gonna be worth it like like I, all yeah. i do like i mean of course we're gonna have our our startup and, and you know it's going to be all hype and all that but i always lead to a place of worship i always want to bring people yeah. into the presence of god you know what i mean and 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 so that's my ultimate goal every time i go everywhere it doesn't matter if i'm at a prison or where i'm at i just always leading to worship you know what i mean that's cool we're gonna get a praise so, on. Yeah. come on now <laughs> come on now well dylan and i will be in the front row oh yeah <laughs> 
Hey, I throw oh. water. <laughs> what did you say? I throw water. water. <laughs> I throw water? Yeah, it'll be slow like He throws water. water. <laughs> uh, yeah, like sea billows roll. Right, right. Got you. <laughs> no, no, we're excited. I said, yeah, yes, that, what a way to turn that that day around. And actually, that's when I spoke to the pastor, that, that you're basically um, confirming um, uh, Tia, you're, you're totally confirming what he was basically saying is that his congregation is a lot, there's a lot of people where that particular day is, is a day of darkness <laughs> for them. And they don't mm-hmm. like being out or they, they need an alternative. And yeah. we said, this, th- these guys are worshipers. Yeah. These guys are going to bring worship and pray. We're going to turn that around mm-hmm. to lifting up and focusing on God. That's mm-hmm. what that's going to oh, be man. about. I feel, so I feel like the intensity is going to be so mm-hmm. crazy uh-huh. on that night. Like I just, I just feel, I already feel like there's a, a crazy anointing coming that night just because I know, I know I, I, I feel blessed and highly favored all the time, man. And I just feel like, you know, God, 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 I know that I know what I know what my job is and I know why I'm coming, but I feel like God's got something for me that night. So I'm coming for it. And I'm just about to let loose and let it happen and see it and let it happen. And so I'm excited. Come on. Yeah. Come on. I'll tell you what, make sure that's on our make sure that's on our prayer list. Yes. Yes, yeah. please. Your prayer team. Yes. October thirty first. Thank you. Got a few months Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't think that. God would have pulled me out. I don't think God would have would have pulled me out for this event um, unless he had something for me, because it's been a lot of years that he's let me have that day off. <laughs> I don't think yeah. he'd make me work unless yeah. there was something for me in it. So. <laughs> That's awesome. See, now, now hey, guys, I got, a, um, <laughs> I got an artist here with me. His name is David Sida. I've been, I've been mentoring David for a while, and he's been mentoring me in a sense, too. Hey, uh, but he's here right now. We're actually going to be recording hey, some country music. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Bless you, bro. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Dave, I'm going to send you something, too, Dave. He, he, Tia said he's sending you something. He's going to send you something. Sending you something. Okay, Dave. Right. He's going to send me something. doing it right now? I guess so. He's okay. sending you something right now. All right. He's going to send it right now. All right. Awesome. Well, I, I got your... I'm so thankful you get... Sorry, say it again. No, oh, no, I, I'm just saying I got the email, T. I got it. I got oh, okay, it okay, good. All yeah, right. and I'm open to feedback, too, so don't don't hesitate. Yeah. Open your email. Over you. Well, we are going to let you guys, thank you again so, so, so much. Yeah. I mean, every time... Every single time I talk to you guys, well, Fresh in particular, yeah. one it has been on. Like it's yes, awesome it meeting you been. finally. Yes, right? I, I, met, you too. I, I did hear I did hear you at uh, the Indie Week. You were on a panel talking, uh, I guess, about rap, and there were some other rappers there as well. I think that's what the topic was, and yeah. that's the first time I actually heard you. I've seen your name, but I never knew who you were, and then. Um, when I saw Daryl Hers had you on, I, I listened to that and was like, oh, cool. I was like, and then, of course, I tell my husband, Daryl, and he says, well, you got to get that guy on the show. Mm-hmm. And I said, I don't know how that's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. And then Frank uh, talks, really and like, easy. hey, I want to talk to you guys. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you for, for being the guys. vessel to bring the connection. Yeah. And I'm going to respect your time because now, Fresh, yes. you need to go and do some recording. Yeah, David, yep. And yeah, yeah. David, David has to do some recording. And yeah. and the Apostle Paul. I'm just going to give you your shout out now because that's going to end up in a song, but I probably won't have yeah, time yeah. in the that's line cool. to actually say your name. So I'm going to just give you a shout out now. Thank you for that. I'm going to use it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tia, David said that you sent an email. Right? Did you already send the email, or you want, you want to send? It? No, I'm going to, but tell him I'm going to do it today, not like he does, and wait three months. I was coming today. Well, he's sending it today. He said he's not. He's doing it today, now it's three months, like you. Goodbye. He's like goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. God bless you, man. Thank you for the opportunity.
Not a problem. Not a problem. We'll stay in touch, okay? Yeah, we'll talk throughout the, throughout the next couple of months just as, as things get closer. So, yes, yes, yes absolutely. Indeed. Good dates. Okay, God bless, God. Okay, God bless. Okay, mad blessings. Okay, Take care, bye guys. Bye. That was good.